Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 23 bread and butter bolos coming your way. These are items that I have picked up at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, easier to find items that I flip for $35 or less on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And we are going to get started. All right. The first item. And I actually have a video on my reseller testing Bolo products channel about Octonauts and how to part it out to make the most out of um, the biggest profits. Now, I will say if it is complete, don't part it out, sell it as a complete set. But if it's missing something or like the stickers are messed up, you can still make really good money on that item by parting it out. So check out that video over on my reseller testing bolo products there's a link to that channel down in the description of the video this is one of the parts this is actually the base the trunk base of the octonauts playset and i almost didn't list this and i was like you know what i'm just gonna try it and it actually sold pretty quickly now it is definitely a bread and butter i sold it for eight dollars best offer and the buyer paid shipping so the buyer was all in for 1577 um could I have priced it higher? Maybe, but I just wanted to move it kind of quick. So pretty happy with that sale. The next item I sold is this fid, fidget, F-I-J, I'm sorry, F-I-J-I-T friends. This is Sage. It's an interactive toy. It like dances and talks. Um, I believe I do have a video down in the description that shows the buyer how it works and that it works. These are pretty cool. If you've never seen one of these, go over to my reseller testing Bolo products and look up this guy because super fun little character. And I've sold, um, I think this is the second one I've sold. Unfortunately, I sold this one like two times and the buyers didn't pay, but I finally sold it and I sold it for $36 and the buyer was all in for $44.80 and I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. The next item that sold is this Halo Mega Blocks. It's new old stock. I got this at a garage sale for a buck. Took a best offer of $30. The buyer was all in for $39.74. You guys, anytime you can find sealed new old stock items, whether it's Legos, Mega Blocks, or something that's not even building block related, look it up because uh, new old stock items do sell. This next item was purchased by a subscriber. So thank you. You know who you are. I appreciate the purchase. Um, this is a lot of six bracelets and they're just costume jewelry, but super, super cute. Um, they're the ones that kind of, uh, wrap around, uh, your arm and wrap probably would have been a good keyword to use. Um, these came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I have a whole video series on this jewelry lot. I bought 344 pounds of jewelry. Um, I sold these for $14 and the buyer was all in for $21.84. The next item came out of a mystery box and again, new old stock. Uh, it's Dora and Friends Hopper Ball. Um, I probably had a dollar in this by the time I uh, listed everything in the mystery box. This was a thrift store mystery box. Sold this for $12. The buyer was all in for $22.79. And again, that was new in the package. The next item are these um, vintage Beastol, Beastyle, I'm not sure how to say it, honeycomb bells. Um, I got these at a garage sale. My cost of goods was $3 for all of them. And they were new old stock, you guys. Really, really cool. Really old. Um, I sold these pretty quickly for $35 best offer. And the buyer was all in for $41.70. The next item is this vintage collectible automobile magazines. This is April 1991, volume seven, number six. So um, would I buy these again? Mm, I don't know. They are very heavy. So um, I, I thought about selling them as one big lot, but shipping would have been crazy. They do have um, ads in them, so you can't... Um, ship them media mail. And I put free shipping on these. So the buyer was all in for $16.19 with free shipping. I can't remember if I have to ship this priority mail or if I got this first class. I think it still went first class, but they're pretty heavy, you guys. So um, 
Primetime Treasure Hunter over on his channel does a great job of selling magazines in bulk um, by like uh, volumes and stuff like that. I don't know if he's ever sold automobile, but he does a lot of like the muscle magazines and stuff like that. Check out his channel for more information on that. The next item are these Zoo Talker Animals by Fisher Price. You guys, they do look a little different on the bottom. Let me find you. I think they say... Oh, I forget how I knew that these were Zoo Talker. Oh, right there. Zoo Talkers. I thought they said it. The Zoo Talkers will go for a little bit more. These weren't in great condition. So I ended up selling these for $14.40. And the buyer was all in for $22.02. And I got these at the Goodwill for $1. The next item is this Build-A-Bear. This guy took forever to sell. I would not consider him to be a bolo. He's a bread and butter item. Now, I think part of the problem one was his back was coming unsewn, so it needed sewn back up. But you can actually like pull the legs out and the arms out and uh, change them. So kind of fun. Sold this for $14.39. The buyer was all in for $23.75. Pick that up at a garage sale for 50 cents. Blaze and the Monster Machine. This is Joe Truck Diecast Vehicle. I got this out of a mystery box, a thrift store mystery box. I sold it for $10.80. The buyer was all in for $17.28. Peppa the Pig. This is a deluxe schoolhouse. And I did include three figures with this and some furniture. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $24. The buyer was all in for $36.94. And my cost of goods, believe it or not, was only a dollar at a garage sale. This guy is a 2014 Imaginext Solom Solomon Grundy 5-inch action figures. He is one of the action figures, I think, from Batman. I sold him for $12.24. The buyer was all in for $18.04. And this came out of a thrift store mystery box. This came from a YouTube fundraiser I was at. So it's basically like a um, YouTube auction, but the money was going towards a fundraiser. So um, I definitely spent more than I typically would have, but it was for a good cause. So I'm not sure. I can't remember what my cost of goods was. The items, it, it was an okay lot. I probably wouldn't have bought it if I wouldn't have been buying for the fundraiser, if I'm being completely honest. But I have sold a good amount of items. This is a Roly Poly Chime Ball, and it's from 1966. It is Fisher Price. It is vintage. I took a best offer of $10 on this, and the buyer was all in for $20.35. Um, I think I've made my money back plus some money, and I still have some items to sell. So um, it was for a good cause, so I'm happy with how it went. The next item is this vintage signed 1928 necklace and earrings porcelain rose flowers necklace um, set 1928 I'll typically pick it up if it's tagged uh, and then I show the size here this came from a thrift store I paid a dollar fifty for it and the buyer was all in for 1915 and it sold pretty quick the next is this vintage hallmark Easter bunny it's plaid stuffed animal it's retired super cute anytime I can find tagged plush um, especially the bunnies. They seem to do well. This one was really, really cute. I had a good feeling about it. Got it at a garage sale for a buck. It sold for $28.80. The buyer was all in for $37.93. The next item I've talked to you guys about before. This is a Kurt Adler, the night before Christmas mini book ornament from 1977. I always pick up these mini books. They do really well for me. This one sold for $25 plus shipping. And I got that at a garage sale for a quarter. This is from my vintage sticker lot that I picked up at a garage sale. I think I paid $3 for the whole lot. There is a video of everything that I got in that lot over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. You got to go check it out. Some amazing sticker bolos. And I sold this for $12.24 plus shipping. The buyer for one sticker, you guys was all in for $23.59. The next item I sold is this Lemax Spooky Town Trick or Treat Dogs. These came out of a mystery box and um, a thrift store mystery box. Sold these for $15.84. They sold really quick. The buyer was all in for $23.59. 
This Squishmallow Stackable Dragon. It is an eight inch plush by Kelly Toy. Squishmallows are definitely um, a bolo item. They do range from bread and butter to really big money. I do have a video on my channel that tells you guys how to clean one. So if you ever find one that's dirty or stained, you can check out that video. Um, this actually came from Terry over at Mindful Recycle. She sent me a mystery box to unbox on my channel. And um, you guys, it was definitely a bolo box. Um, she hooked me up. So check out that video. It is on this channel. And I show you how I listed everything in the box and uh, lots of great bolos and a great way to learn. So check that out. I ended up taking a best offer on this guy for $16. The buyer was all in for $23.35. And also Terry from Mindful Recycle, that's her YouTube channel, Mindful Recycle, is a big money bolo finder. So if you guys want to learn about some bolos, definitely check her out. The next item is this Coldwater Creek necklace. It is a chunky statement piece. I got it at a um, thrift store for one buck. Ended up taking a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $19.09. So that's what it looks like. The next item that sold is this retired bird of prey Halloween talking candy dish from 2005. This also came out of a thrift store mystery box. Unfortunately, um, it was not complete. Um, the, uh, the bottom, like the feet that went on the bottom, the part that hooked in right here were missing, but it still functioned just fine. So I ended up selling this for a best offer of $30. The buyer was all in for $57.20. These are little, little glimmers, baby lights and sounds, rainbow tail, pink, purple, interactive toys. These are over on my reseller testing Bolo products too, if you want to see how they work. Um, but again, put a video in the description to show people how um, that item works. I sold these for $12.96. The buyer was all in for $20.92. This Ninja Turtle, um, this is great. So I can't remember if you squeeze it or what you do, but the eyeballs pop out. <laughs> it's really weird. Eye-popping Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I sold this for $17.28. Buyer paid shipping all in $23.98. This also came out of a thrift store mystery box. You can see right here, yeah, you squeeze it and his eyeballs pop out. So if you want to see that video, it's over there on my reseller testing Bolo products also. All right, you guys, be sure to check out my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and my reseller testing Bolo products channel. They are linked down in the description. Um, some tools that I use for my business. I've talked to you guys about List Perfectly before. I use it to cross post. I start on eBay and cross post to Mercari and Poshmark, sometimes some other platforms, but those are my main three platforms. I do have a video link down below that shows you how to do that. If you want to check it out and you like what you see, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word to get 30% off your first month. Um, recently subscribed to Worth Point. So glad I did. I use it all the time. Um, sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I have a video over there. I was trying to think um, about that. I was like, which channel is it on? But I show you how Worth Point has paid off for me. So you can check that out over on that channel. And I use Photo Room for uh, my background remover. And Photo Room has a free version and a paid version. Uh, I do have a video that shows you how that works. Also, that's on this channel. Had to think about it. So those are just some tools that make my life so much easier. Cross posting selling more because more eyes are on my items. Um, the white background, I just think it makes my items look better. And worth point, a lot of times I'm making more on my item because I know how to price it better. When you're finding a rare, hard to find vintage items, sometimes there's not good comps on eBay and you kind of have to go to worth point to um, see other sold prices. So links to those items are down in the description along with my Facebook group. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. So make sure you check out the description. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please put an owl emoji down in the description. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up. So check one of those out. And thanks for watching.